everyone welcome back to my vlog and today I'm not doing a book review I'm actually going to do another book craft that you can do and this is a perfect one for winter when I was a librarian at a high school I did all sorts of book wreaths with my students so they could give it to their teacher their friends or their family never knowing that it was a low-tech makerspace but I'm not doing wreaths this time around I'm actually going to be doing holiday trees or pine trees or book trees and so these are made with just some old weeded books some poster board and some little doohickey knickknacks that you can get at any craft store or at your local Walmart or Target and uh, very forgiving to do very easy to do and I would highly recommend that to, you do this with your students when you have time to or just set it out and show them how to start these are great not only for the holiday season but they last all the way into January so Let's get started and stay tuned for the end because I'm going to show you some other ones that I did just using old materials that I had laying around. So now, let's get started. You're going to need some supplies, so that includes poster board, a weeded book with the pages torn out of it, a ruler, scissors, a pencil, and two last things, a glue gun and some tape. So now we're ready to get started. Now I am using half of a poster board because I've used some of this. You can make your Christmas trees as big as you want to or as small as you want to. So I folded the half into a fourth and then I folded the fourth into an eighth I think. I'm not really good at math but just fold it again. I am making a smaller Christmas tree for this video. Once you have it all cut out, you're going to go ahead and wrap it so it looks like a horn. It's going to be big on one side and smaller on the other side. So it looks like a ice cream cone. Then you're going to take some tape and you're going to go ahead and tape the tape it together, tape it shut so it holds. Now, I will warn you, I am left-handed, so some of you might be cringing going, "Oh, please, can I please help her? That looks so difficult." or she's gonna cut herself. I promise you, I've been doing this for a long time and sometimes left-hand people do it backwards. You know what I mean if you're left-handed. Now, it's not standing up straight, so you're gonna to have to trim the bottom. And this can get a little tricky. Unless you're really good with math, you're, you're gonna do it perfectly the first time. Me, I had to do it a couple of times, but yay, I finally got it. It is now sitting up pretty perpendicular. So step two, you're gonna get your weeded book pages and you are going to take the width of a ruler and you're going to go ahead and you're going to create strips. These are going to be our fringes for our holiday tree. Now, if you're lucky enough to work at a school or a workplace that has a paper cutter, this is going to be the easiest part of the video, of the project. For me, I'm doing it at home, so you home crafters, we're just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. I usually do three pieces at a time because I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Once you do more than three pieces, everything looks pretty until the very end where it just goes south. And so three pieces was about as much as I could handle. Then after you have all of your strips cut out, you're going to have to create the fringe and all you're going to do is just cut along the, the one side of the, of the strip to create that fringe. You're going to go about halfway up. There is going to be a difference in your tree if you do this quickly or if you do this slowly. The more cuts you make, the more fluffy your tree is definitely going to be. For the purposes of this video, it took me about 20 minutes to make this small tree and I did it really quick. Step three is the gluing on of the fringe to your tree. So I'm going to show you the hard way to do it at first. Now the reason I did this is because you may not know where to put that first line of glue on your first cut at the very bottom. So I put it on the paper itself and then I went around and I stuck the glue to the comb. Now, if, if you want to, you can eyeball how wide those, uh, those fringes are and then put your glue and do it that way. You're also going to have little gaps. That's easy enough to fill. You just kind of measure it out, eyeball it, 
rip off some fringe and then fill in that gap. Now comes the fluff part. With every layer that you put on, I highly recommend that you go ahead and push that fringe up so that the tree will look fuller. For this time, I decided, no, I'm gonna do it the easy way. And what I did was I went along the top of the fringe from the first layer and just put a, a bead of glue on that. And then I'm gonna lay the second fringe on top of that. This is much easier to do. You, you're not gonna burn your hands as much and it's just simpler to do. Make sure you fill in those gaps. Don't forget to fill those gaps in. And then what is the rule of thumb for every layer that you do? Of course, don't forget to fluff. And so here I am fluffing the second layer. And you're going to continue to keep doing this throughout your whole tree, adding layers and fluffing every single one of them. Now, you are working with circles, so you're going to have some gaps. You can All you have to do is pinch the, the gaps into place and then stick it to that glue, and you should be pretty secure. And you're just gonna go all around the tree and continue to do the same process. I'm putting on my last layer, yay! And so now, for the final fluff. You. The, this is the easiest fluff to do because I just turned it upside down and I went round and round and, and looked at where it needed to be fluffed more, where it needed to be fluffed less, obviously at the bottom, but there you go. My tree is ready. So you're going to find a place in your house where it needs some cheer. My ugly monkey needs some cheer. And so I'm going to place my first tree there. But I also wanted to show you a larger tree that I did where I took more time on the fringe. And actually at the top I put in a tree filler and just stuck it down in the bottom of that to create an ornament at the top. But you can do it with so many different things. One that I did was with jute. I had some extra jute string laying around and it was just going around and around and around that cone. And then also with tinsel. So there you have four different holiday trees, two with weeded books. I really hope you enjoyed this. And um, if you'd like to know when I'm putting up more videos, please subscribe to this channel. And I hope you have a happy holiday. Bye.